what we're going to be doing today um, is with the cabinet de-energized and verified, we're going to be connecting uh, a current module uh, with a clamp around a motor lead and we're going to be connecting a wireless voltage module uh, load side of the starter um, and be able to shut the door and have that those modules communicate uh, with the full function DMM. Um, as an added feature to this for today we we're going to be able to view 256 points of data um, for an operating period of time uh, voltage and current and be able to see any fluctuations um, that happens on a suspect motor that's acting up. Um, and when the cabinet is closed after the modules are installed um, then we're going to re-energize um, and then be able to watch voltage and current monitoring uh, readings. Because we're 100 percent de-energized um, we already know it's dead so we're just uh, using standard uh, personal protective equipment and I'm going to open a control cabinet. So step one, install your modules. This is load side of a contactor that supplies a 30 horsepower 40 volt motor and we put that around our T2 lead and we're going to power our module up and with the magnet it allows a safe installation to the interior of the control cabinet. Um, for this application, I'm going to choose a different set of leads. It's a little more friendly. That comes with the system. Then we're going to power up our modules and press our radio transmit button, get our leads tucked in there, and then we can trans push our radio transmit button on this module. Tuck our leads in, close our control cabinet. We are now not exposed from energized parts working safely. We've removed lockout tag out from distribution that feeds this cabinet. We've moved lockout tag out, tag out locally. Um, we've re-energized. And as you can see, we do have proper AC voltage without even have to go going back into the cabinet. I know that uh, proper power has been restored. Um, Joe, if you would please start. <clears throat> um, as you can see, we're uh, monitoring uh, three sources of information here. Line side of motor starter, load side of motor starter, and AC current of our suspect 480 volt three phase 30 horsepower motor. Everything looks normal. What we can do is put this in a graph mode and I can monitor up to 255 uh, points of uh, data and what this will allow me to do is capture uh, an intermittent problem, download it, save it, download it, and email it to my customer if necessary uh, so that I can solve their problem. Uh, this Connex system helps me find the problem, fix the problem, and do it in a safe environment away from energized equipment. Um, that's it. Thanks for coming along. I'm Chip Stoll.